Hi everyone, I'm Manish. I'm Sean. And today we're going to be talking about a series that came out on FX uh, recently uh, called The Old Man, starring um, Jeff Bridges. Good show. Uh, spy show. Sort of spy show-ish. Like th- Would you say thriller. like a thriller? Yeah, yeah, like a thriller. Yeah, yeah. Thriller is the right way to put it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, what do you think? Yeah, I really liked it. Uh, it I like the the storyline was brilliant because I think when we originally spoke about it, like we that we were going to watch it, I think we were kind yeah. of expecting like a more like a really high octane kind of um, just all out crazy. I don't know, maybe it's just we be being spoiled a little bit by the John Wick stuff, but it was it was completely different to that because you're actually following the main character. Obviously, is an old man, you know. Uh, um, Mr. Chase is his name. I think I can't remember. Is, is Dan Chase? I think it is. Dan Chase. I think Dan it Chase. Is, yeah. By Jeff, played by Jeff Bridges. And what I love about it is you follow him as an old man, but they do flashbacks that are showing him in his younger years when he's with the CIA. You know what? Initially, I didn't realise that was uh, that was his younger self. I was like, what? What's going on here? Why are they showing this random geezer? And then I, I could only figure it out by the hairstyles. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Long ass hair. Long ass hair. So that's obviously him. It, what's um, clever? What's clever about it is the way they show it. It's kind of like they might meet together. Like they don't really. It's like you know that that old you know Jeff Bridges has something to do with this 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 young gun basically. And it, the way yeah. it kind of and and you think okay their their story is going to collide, but actually it's it's as the series goes on it unfolds the reason why he's being hunted or why he's being chased or you know why they've kind of left him to be forgotten um nice slow burn it's a good slow burn in that sense um where like it's um it's very slow initially and it's just it initially shows you his skills and um and uh what he can do even though he's an old man but he still has the difficulties of obviously being yeah. an old man you gotta wake up 10 times <laughs> at, night at night just to take a <laughs> just to take a piss um and it shows like di- like that difficulty with like he had with his uh wife and then they give a little bit of a backstory there um i find the, her character the, really yeah. really like the afterthought Below. of her character her name? Below. something like that i, I can't remember Hamzad, right? Balor Hamzad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because the other guy was. Is that the main, the main bad guys, Faran, Faran Hamzad. Faran right? Hamzad, yeah, yeah, that's his name, yeah, yeah. So obviously, yeah. it's, it's, it's. The story is that he, it's set when he was in the CIA and he was fighting in Afghanistan, and basically he was going against all of his bosses, and he was siding with this one guy. This is, he's a warlord himself, but he's, he was quite a. A respected person so and the cia were like he's never going to win he hasn't got the firepower he hasn't got the manpower he hasn't got anything and it's basically how this guy uh, johnny we didn't we didn't know exactly the reason why they didn't want to take part in it, it was they, we well, just they, know that they didn't want any part in it yeah they didn't, yeah they he, didn't. he was adamant that he wanted to do something about it yeah, and john yeah. lithgow john lithgow's character um who i forget the name of is um I was thinking Let that. me have a quick look. Harold me. Harper. Harold Harper, that's it, yeah. Harold Harper is like the only guy that's saying, all right, I'll do something about it. I'll help you out. And then, you know what? Throughout all of it, the entire show, he gets burnt quite badly. He get, gets burnt he by Dan Chase. Yeah. Uh, and then um, the major twist that happens. Yeah. Um, which is uh, that, you know, the whole the daughter thing. Um, a lot of it is centered was... around her, actually. I thought that was it quite... is actually a lot of stuff around her. Well, actually, to be well, the what what you don't realize until the end, which is what makes it a brilliant show, is it's all about her. Yeah, it's yeah. not. It's not about you know. They throw you kind of like little bones. To Angela. Be like, Angela. Yeah, they throw you little bones to oh. be like, oh, it could be, you know, hang on, why why is he randomly run away with his wife? And then it's like they throw you things like, oh, he, you know, she knows where this like mineral rich deposit is, who, which can, which she doesn't want to tell her husband because it'll accelerate his growth, and he'll just, you know, she doesn't want him to go too high too quickly. So you're in your mind, you're in your mind, you're thinking, okay, you know, Dan Chase has helped this woman escape. They've got married under a false identity, and then 
I meant the twist being the daughter, not the wife. No, no, no. But that's what I mean. But as in, okay. you're you're led to believe that it's all about the what the the marriage that happened. Yeah. But it, it's not. And you kind about... of feel sorry for her, and you're like, yeah. And yeah. then the show kind of like slowly depicts like she's very manipulative. She's she, manipulating yeah, almost everyone. Yeah. On, she manipulated the Russian guy. He yeah. was a mole. He was. Yeah. She like brought him up. She manipulated um, Dan Chase. Yeah, and the, uh, and, and, and she the, for us. Ryan Hamza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like she was a double, triple agent, kind of just in her own. That's what's beautiful. Is for us Hamza, it's not for us. For us Hamza. But, yeah, but she wasn't. But she wasn't a triple agent for anyone. She was no. for her working for yeah, herself. Yeah, yeah. She just yeah, yeah. believed that what she was doing was right. Yeah. So she was like, um, "I didn't tell you." She was, she was telling Faraz Hamza, "I'm not telling you where the mine is, yeah. where this precious mineral is, because I don't. I I think that if you get, if you know where it is, and you yeah. get too much power, you become corrupted. Yeah. So I will decide when to tell you yeah. when. When yeah. I was like, she's she's holding all the cards. Yeah. But then right at the end of the at the end of the. Uh, the, the TV series, you find out that exactly. it's nothing to do with anything about the wife. It's they took his daughter, yeah, and he wanted her back. And when he got to a certain political position where he could demand certain things, that's what he wanted. And it's you know, you, you know, she's the main part of the show when when she has three names, like as yeah. in terms of the credit list, because she's obviously. Um, She's obviously Angela Adams yeah. as the uh, working for the CIA. Yeah, it yeah. Is CIA, F- isn't FBI. It? Oh, sorry, FBI. And then she's Emily Chase. Yeah. In the sense that she's um, Thingy's yeah. daughter, Jeff Bridges' daughter. And then, but she's also uh, Barwana uh, Hamzad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that... I was like, I was like, that is mad. It's. I think when we again when we talked about it, we I assumed it would just be one season and it when it ended i was like where's the credit like surely there's another episode or there's credits yeah, or, yeah. and it was and it, one of the clip one of the worst cliffhangers in the sense that what they just yeah. she just got out of the car and that's yeah, it that's, that's it. all we're yeah. gonna get kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. i think um, i think another good thing to mention with this is the i wouldn't say the the bromance but the, the brotherhood between harper and chase is yeah. You you learn from an early an early stage. Obviously, they were kind of like employee and boss in the beginning, and then he warns him, you know, look, get out of your house, you know, or check, check you know, check under your car. There's a little uh, transmitter there and whatever. And then throughout the story, they kind of they keep coming together, and then yeah. finally at the end, you see you see that he basically helps them. And and actually, what's really funny is the person that they have in common is the daughter. And they're both kind of, they're both hurt because Dan Chase has had to fake his daughter's death. I don't think he's as hurt as <clears throat> Harold Hopper. Harold looked like devastated. Like he, no, he was. I think he's more. And they, they say it when they're in the car, when they're in the Land Rover driving across the desert. He, he's like. But I think, I think it's because Jeff Bridges was. He was saying, look, you know, he's had to let his daughter go for a very long, for, for years now. So he's kind of okay with he's kind of come to terms with it but with harry it's mm. more he's only learned about the deception yeah and it's yeah. basically you know and so so they 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 share their, th- their feelings about it which was actually quite good because like i yeah. said it, it 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 builds that kind of brotherhood between them um it's weird to have that it's weird because they did have that sort of i don't know how long they were interacting when they were young but it did seem like they were cool with each other yeah but then this is a massive gap of them not knowing each other and like 30 years and only after 30 years he hears that name again so it's weird how they have that brotherhood all of a sudden I because think they it's, virtually have very limited contact i think it's probably they probably have respect for each other to a certain degree where you know i mean again we don't know we may in the second season we may see them throwing back the story to how they actually may have taken different paths or you know whatever we don't know yeah one thing that was weird about the old man was um he almost implied to one of the assassins that uh that he gave to harry harper to kill dan chase was like they're both his sons um obviously you know he's not the, not the real father but he he acts like a a father a twisted father basically yeah. who who helps them get through shit and stuff it's weird it's almost like it's a show about surrogates 
Yeah. Right? Like the the old man, the old old man, yeah. um, like his sort of surrogates where like the two opposing men kind of like is... Howard Harper and and, and um, Dan Chase and then another surrogate would be um uh Abby Chase or Abby is it Abby Chase I forgot again yeah it kind of reminds me Emily of Chase Emily to Chase, um yeah. yeah do you know that um it had um Leonardo DiCaprio and I think it was Matt Damon and they're, they're both one's a cop and one's a Catch me if you can. No, no, no. It's like a really... I can't remember. It starts with D. Um, one's a cop and one's... Oh, The Departed. The Departed. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like that. Why don't say catch me if you can? I don't... That's just stupid. I guess that is. So <laughs> but yeah, it kind of reminds me of that because it's like... I mean, they're not, they're not bad guys or anything, but it's like he's, you know, the old, old man. <laughs> he's the yeah. main... He's kind of like pulling the strings on both sides because he's helping Dan chase conceal the identity of his daughter who he put under Harry Harper in yeah. the FBI and then he's kind of got Harry looking after it, the daughter it's, it's almost as if no one knows what they're doing like yeah. like no one has any intelligence of what they're doing and then when something messes up it was like oh let's just kill him off let's fix the mistake by just killing the person because yeah. obviously we don't know what we're doing in the first place um uh great uh, twist at the yeah. end that uh, great plot twist um, and uh, you know what I would have liked to see more with the dogs that was some crazy scenes in the yeah, beginning I know, I know you like dog I know you like the dog stuff because we've mentioned it a couple of times in, in John Wick yeah. but no it was they were quite good actually um, in the sense that when and it was a bit of like a, a kind of like a jumpy moment where they where the guy the first assassin comes into the house to kill him yeah and yeah. basically the all you see the dog, is the dog just got him by the neck. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's just mad. And he's like, all right, let him go now. It's literally he like he turns left, him. and you just see this figure at the back, and it kind of like it shoot. He doesn't shoot him, but you just turn around and you see these dogs run down the stairs and just jump on this guy. Yeah. Um, but even even when they capture him, and you just see these dogs come out, they've run like a, like half a mile off this car, and they've just. Um, but you know that's a really good one. That was epic. That overturned car and the guy's like, he's Jeff Bridges is smiling. Yeah. And he's like, why is he smiling? And you the camera turns, it's just <laughs> a dog staring at him. And then he looks around, the dog staring. I was like, that's, that's epic. I think. Um, I think. I think yeah. one other character we haven't mentioned yet, um, probably did it really was the the woman that he rents a house off, who then he then takes halfway across the world. A relationship with yeah. Um, and it it's so weird because it's at no point is it corny it's not weird it's literally just I think it was um, like it was it was supposed to be about her but in more in the sense of how does he deal with yeah like normalcy yeah, like a, a norm, yeah, yeah, yeah. an actual normal relationship yeah and he can't it's just yeah. obviously as self-evident he can't he has yeah. to leave her in the end and the, the, um they do i mean they do, the funny part of the normal normal see thing is is like when they're at dinner and it's like they've they're both old so they've got loads of pills that they have to take before dinner and stuff like that and it's like it's little oh, yeah. things like that it's like it's really clever cleverly yeah. put in but even also the fighting in it is not um, gun, gun, gun fights are just amazing. They're very no, tactically, like, yeah. like, like, as it look, look, looks as if they've done their research. Yeah, when it came yeah. to like stuff like that, yeah. right? Yeah, like you know, like how an old person would move, or how someone with training will not forget their training, but they they won't be able to react as fast, or they might do, they might move, they might use more like bare moves, kind of like you know, strong long yeah. strikes rather yeah, than yeah. quick, kind of you know. Kicking the, kick the kind of throat, kind of thing. Yeah. And I like that. I thought that was very clever because obviously, he's, you know, Jeff Bridges is old. He's not going to be able to move like, you know, yeah. like Stallone or anything like that in it. But it, it's, it's, um, that was, a, that was, I thought was quite clever. And the fight. That, yeah, really... they've done his fight choreography really well. I was talking about the gunfight scenes in the sense, like, I think it was the last episode of the one before it where they're, they're holed up. Not, not the main characters, but, um, like the men that uh oh, kidnapped uh, emily think, kidnapped uh, emily yeah. yeah and they've got to, they've got to navigate out of the building yeah, yeah that uh, was very that was very like kind of swat stacking there's only one yeah guy, yeah that's yeah but it's the way he 
moved around the corners the way like yeah. he wasn't just the way he was how, how, the aiming his gun and where he would aim yeah uh, like yeah, an yeah. angle to the, it was, it was like clever. it looked like they 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 taken advice yeah. on how a person would react in this situation yeah and, uh, and, but yeah but yeah no i would say definitely in yeah it was a highly rated show i would definitely give it like you know. we didn't really talk about foreign hamza that far as hamza that, that much because um it, we she we see a lot of him as when he's younger and him trying to gain power and and then he's not really thought about but he's almost like this invisible villain well not villain because he's not technically a villain just this uh, he's an invisible, invisible figure he's there forced. in the background yeah 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 but you can tell how big he is by the yeah. influence he has on other people like yeah other people are like okay we've been told yeah. to get this or we've been told yeah. that it should happen like this um and um the lawyer is evident the of that the, the lawyer that yeah. he has yeah. is evident because it's very much like um my client wants this and yeah you don't yeah. mess with him yeah. whatever he get, whatever he wants he gets, he gets. that kind of guy um i but, like when they do that the villain isn't there but you see from the effects of other people yeah. who I said villain again he's not a villain but who this person is yeah um I thought that was pretty cool but again what's interesting is you do eventually see him in his old self yeah he's just an old man <laughs> yeah he's they're just, all... <laughs> name of the show man it's the name of the show he's just another old just, man yeah they're just old guys growing old struggling get out of bed yeah 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 and it's it's that's the beauty of it is they're not like um they're not portraying them as you know f they're 50 60 year olds and they're still like you know tom cruise from like maverick or it's nothing yeah. like that they are yeah, yeah. they are simply they've aged well some of them yeah and they're just dealing with life as an old man and that yeah that it really sticks to the net it's such a weird thing but it they well, yeah. brilliantly done oh yeah 100 percent. yeah yeah the concept yeah. of the flashbacks they've taken from uh, a tv program called this is us um, which concentrates on what's happening in the present, but then it also has flashbacks on certain parts too, which is... I mean, it's probably, probably, I don't know how accurate it is because it's based on a novel. Yeah. So I'm assuming the novel would have had flashbacks as well in that same yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, But all in all, great show. Yeah. Uh, can't wait for season two, which is obviously recently being announced. Yeah, yeah, it has. Um, if we get some trailers, but, that'd be cool. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, re we'll, re yeah, we'll react to this. I can't wait. I can't wait. It's obviously going to be a long way away, but yeah, um, yeah. regardless, still great show. Yep, I'm uh, definitely, rec definitely recommend it um, to whoever hasn't seen it. But if you haven't seen it and you made it this far, there's no point because you spoil everything for you. Anyway. No, it's, I would still say go and experience it. <laughs> no, because, no, uh... no, don't go experience it. That's the worst thing imaginable. We've basically spoiled every facet of the show. Um, rather than that, I would say please. Um, let us know your thoughts about this show in the comments uh, what you thought of it if you liked anything you didn't like um, other than that um, please like share subscribe uh, click the notification bell and we'll see you in the next one see ya yeah.